Hi guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I'm Aurelio. Are you ready for a new video? First of all, I'm so sorry. I'm always in late, but uh, to be honest, I'm so busy. I'm so busy for my job, for my like, for my passion. But I have a gift for you. Look this. Do you like? Can you imagine what is this piece? It's, a, it's part of the new AMK model kits. Tidu! So, don't waste the time. We proceed with uh, the topic of the new video. We go! What's better time than this? Because I will tell you about the great N1, the Russian lunar rocket which never saw the completion of its missions to the moon. Years ago I found and purchased this model at the shop here in Italy. I spent years studied the model kit in its details and composition. I collected as much as possible information so that I could assemble it as best as possible and possibly I could add some missing details. It wasn't necessary for me to add details since the model in question is already perfect. Without a doubt this is the largest resin model kit that I have ever purchased and built. As mentioned previously, I didn't immediately start assembly the model because I was hesitant about the photo etched present in the box and what was the best technique for working on them without ruining them. To have a clear idea of what the finished model looked like, I started assembling the resin parts and filling those small imperfections that were there and that are always present on any model kits made in resin. Once this first part of work was finished, after a few years of waiting, I took courage and I started working on the photo etched. I managed to give the right shape to ensure that they fit the model correctly. Once the photo etched were ready, I glued them in the right positions and I proceeded with the plastered phase of the entire model kit. So that it was ready for the painting phase. As you can imagine, to facilitate the work of painting the model kit, I kept it divided into its three stages. In this way, it was easy for me to paint them in all its parts, including those parts which, once the model is finished, they will no longer be visible. Once the painting work of the model kit was completed and after I having passed on some transparent vanish to seal all the work, I proceeded with the union of the three stages so that the model was complete and it ready to be on display inside my dis display cases. The three pieces that make up the N1 rocket are joined together thanks to the brass pins glued to the center of each one. In this way the elements that make up the model kit are well joined together and the pins remain hided at the end of the assembly work. Now that my N1 is complete and it is displayed in my showcase, I'm happy and proud of it. It was a longer and interesting job, but in the end I completed it. 
What can I say about this model? Without any doubt, it is very expensive, but at the same time, it is rich in details and card for, for down to the smallest details and certainly it cannot be missing from the, from the collection of any great astronauting enthusiast like me. I say that perhaps it could be a good idea to provide a slightly more specific assembly instructions to help those model makers who have little practice with photo etched. So guys, also this time we have finished. See you soon next time and don't forget Happy New Year, Happy Christmas Day and don't forget AMK is always the best. We have a few Dragon Cargo version 1 model kit, Dragon Lab and see you soon in the new year. Bye! Happy New Year! Go SpaceX! Go Starship! Go AMK!